Welcome back, Wired Fam. Hope everybody's doing well. We have got another crappie cookbook in store for you guys today. We've got all our stuff ready here. It's gonna be a good one. It is lemon pepper crappie. It's gonna be tasty. We'll be right back with you and we're gonna get going. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So, our oven's ready. How about that? So we're in the kitchen, we're rocking and rolling. We're gonna get going. Lemon pepper crappie. It is delicious in the oven, obviously, because she's singing to us. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna do it? Well, first, you gotta have the crappie fillets. So we got our crappie fillets ready here. We've got a pan with tin or aluminum foil, okay? We've got couple lemons, all right? You gotta have the lemons. Gotta have that lemon pepper seasoning, guys. I obviously like lemon pepper. Look at that right there. So, lemon pepper seasoning. You gotta have your butter, okay? You gotta have two and a half cups water for that bed that we're gonna put it on. That's that chicken rice -a -roni. If you don't eat rice -a -roni or never had rice -a -roni, you better get you some, put it underneath that crappie because it is delicious, okay? So, we got that, and we got some cornbread. Some cornbread that mama made, okay? This was from yesterday, but it's still good. It's fine, it's fine. So we're not gonna do the cornbread. We're gonna cheat on the cornbread. That is uh, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, actually, is what that is. So we're cheating a little bit on the cornbread, but let's get going. So, like I said, we're gonna take our pan right here, okay? It's real simple, guys. So we're just gonna lay these fillets out, right like this right here on this pan. Get them laid out. Space them apart kind of evenly. Okay. Now, one thing you can do, which I did, I put a little oil on there, move it around with a paper towel, just a little oil, get everything, you know, try to keep everything from sticking a little bit. So we get our fish laid out. Okay. Then we want to crack open our butter. All right, get our butter cracked open there, get that laid out. We also need to grab this cutting board here. We need to slice these lemons, okay? So we're gonna set this aside for just a second. We're gonna slice up one of these lemons, okay? And cut her right in half, like that, okay? And then we're just gonna cut us some slices. All right, we got eight fillets. We're gonna cut us about eight slices of lemon. Don't worry about the seeds. Seeds ain't gonna hurt nobody. Two, three, four, five, six. A couple more. Alright. So we got eight slices of lemon. We got eight fillets. There, we're gonna set this aside for just a second. Okay. Bring those fillets back over here. We're going to take a little bit of that lemon pepper, okay? We're gonna sprinkle a little of that lemon pepper, not a lot, just a little, over top of those fillets. Mm. Right like that, okay? Not a lot, we don't wanna kill it. Then we're gonna take lemon slice. Oh, excuse me. We need to cut our butter first. We're gonna cut eight little slices of butter. Okay, 
We're gonna put us a little slice of butter over each one of those fillets and a lemon over top, okay? Butter and lemon. Butter, butter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, you can take your butter, if you got real big fillets, and cut it in half, okay? Put it over top if you need to cover more area. I don't like real large fillets. I like a smaller fillet. They cook better, especially when you're frying. We're not frying today. We're gonna take that lemon and we're gonna put it right over top of that butter. Just like that right there. Okay. And each one of them fillets. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. Just like that right there, guys. Okay. Then we're gonna take that. We're gonna slide it in at 375 degree oven, 375 for about 20 minutes. Okay. So we set that timer. 20 minutes. All right. Now once we get that in there, we're gonna get our rice aroni started. Real simple. Two tablespoons of butter in a pan. Bam. Okay. Turn that heat up. Crack that rice aroni open. Take that packet out. We're gonna take that rice aroni and we're gonna put it right over top. Okay. Right over top of it. Over that butter or margarine. I like butter. All right, we're gonna do a medium heat. <clears throat> Find us a uh, stirrer here. And we're just gonna start kind of rendering that down, that butter, and let that butter melt. And all we're doing here is browning that rice aroni. We're gonna let that butter melt. We're gonna mix that rice aroni in. We're just gonna brown it. Okay. You gotta keep stirring your rice roni, don't let it get too brown. We're just looking for a golden brown, medium heat. Okay, there's that. And then what we're gonna do, two and a half cups of water, right here in the bowl. Okay, and our flavor packet. So we're gonna Pour our water in. And we're going to take our flavoring, which is our chicken flavor. Come on, open it up. We're going to sprinkle that in there. And we're going to take that and we're going to stir it up. Get her good mixed up. Mix her in, mix her in. Mm mm mm. Chick on, chick on, chick on. Looking good, looking good. Again, that's the chicken rice roni, guys. Okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to a boil. We're gonna turn that heat up. Bring this up to a boil. Okay? All right, once we got that to a boil, we're gonna turn that heat down, just to a simmer. Okay, we're gonna simmer that for about 15 minutes, guys. About 15 minutes, we're gonna simmer that down. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna check our rice aroni here. Take that cover off. Oh yeah. Turn that heat off. Yes, sir. Perfect rice aroni right there. Look at that for you guys. Mmm, nice and moist. Nice and cooked. Beautiful. Mwah. Beautiful rice aroni. And that is our fish. So our fish is done. We're gonna pull it out of the oven. 
gets a little get us a little don't out your hand oh boy oh boy oh boy look at them fillets right there mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. yummy yum 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 Mwah. that's what i'm talking about all right so we're gonna take some of this yummy rice i'm gonna plate that right there just a little more plate that over here Mm, mm mm That's what I'm talking about. Set that back down. You gotta have the smiley face spatula, guys, okay? Get yourself a smiley face spatula. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these lemons. We're gonna set them to the side. Woo, that's hot. That's really hot. Okay, we'll pull them lemons off there. Set them over to the side here. I'm going to grab three or four of these fillets. These fillets are perfect. With our lemon pepper. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to go right over top. Mm -mm -mm. Right there. Mm -mm -mm. That is good. Right there. I'm here to tell you. All right, guys. Look at that. You got our cornbread, our lemons. You can squeeze a little lemon on your fish if you want. You got the rice aroni underneath that fish. That is a good looking meal, if I do say so myself. I'm looking forward to this. So we're gonna let that cool for a second, because it is hot. I can feel it. <laughs> so we're gonna let it cool for just a second, and then we're gonna take us a nice hefty bite. This is going to be good. I can already tell you. We're going to take a little of that lemon. We're going to squeeze just a little lemon on top of those fish right there. Mm-mm-mm. It's going to be good. Get on in there. Just a little of that rice roni. A little of that fish. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. That's right. That's good. That's good right there, guys. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. That's something special. All that cornbread. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm -mm. Lemon and fish. There's just something about lemon and fish that go together. And I'm telling you, right now, Mmm. Try it out. I'm out of here. I'm going to go finish eating. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.